don't know, you may be kind of like me, but for some reason, every single day, I go to the mailbox and hope there will be that big check. And hope that somewhere down the road or somewhere I didn't meet a, a great uncle, a great, 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 great grandfather or something that just left me some money and someone did research and they all of a sudden sent money my way and I, I go to the mailbox and, and hope that one day I get that incredible check. Because in the human mindset, that check would change my life. It would be a life-changing moment for me. Pay off all my bills, get the things that, that I think that I desire and I want, pay for my kids' college. It would be something that would change every single thing. But it never fails. Every day I go to the mailbox and I pick up, I have bills and bills and bills and I'm always giving away the money instead of receiving the money. You know, a lot of times we think that our Christian life is like that. That God, Christ, it's all good and, and we understand that salvation is saving us from this eternity of, of hell, but yet we feel like that we have to give up so much just to receive that. And so the world offers so much so we begin to seek and we begin to look for all these things and, and, and we, we seek for this pleasure and that pleasure and the next best thing that comes out and, and we try our best to buy happiness and buy this joy that is only temporary and, and ultimately when it's all said and done, that's what it is. Just temporary joy. Makes us smile for a minute and then just we're looking again for something else. And we spend most of our life doing those kind of things. Thinking that there's going to be something that's going to change our life forever. And give us everything that we desire and we want. When truly, Christ is the one to do that. He's the one that, that, that is here to, to give us everything that we want. But we feel like that if we accept Christ and we accept the things of God, that we will not have any more pleasure. That we'll have to do away with everything that we love and all the happiness. We won't have it because we got to check this box and check that and live a perfect life and, and, and not go have fun. When it's totally the opposite, Christ says that, that when you seek me and, and you go after the pleasures that I'm to give you, that you will have more joy than you'll ever imagine. He tells us in John 14, 6 that he is the way, the truth, and the life. That, that Jesus is. Not another paycheck, not another car, not another home, not pornography, not addictions, nothing like that, but that he is the way, the truth, and the life. It also tells us in John 6, 33, it says, the bread of God is he who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. That Jesus Christ is the one that is here to satisfy us in this world. So it's not ultimately what we have to, to give up, but it's what we gain that really counts. See, the pleasures of God is so much more than the pleasures of this world, and yet we seek those out more then we seek Him out. See, the reason why we can't find true pleasure is we're seeking something instead of seeking someone. And Jesus asked us to seek Him, and that's where true pleasure is found. Hey, every day I can come, and I can look, and I can be disappointed because it's not there. Or I can understand every day that He is here and there is no disappointment because he's the one that gives true life. So do you want true pleasure? Then find it in God.